Hello families! Hello Kids for Christ! I am your big brother Mark and today I would like to welcome you to our KFC Monthly Assembly for the month of January. I know all of us are excited to learn new things for today's assembly, most especially with our families, right? Yes! So, are you ready and excited to start this wonderful activity? Yay! Me too! So, let us all stand up for our opening kids' praise to be led by Big Brother Casey. Hello families! Hello Kids for Christ! I am your Big Brother Casey. And today, we will start our KFC Monthly Assembly with an opening kids' praise. But before that, allow me to share with you a lesson that I learned about obedience. Did you know that when we follow and obey Jesus with a happy heart, He will be very grateful to us? So, let's all start this KFC Monthly Assembly by worshiping Him through singing and dancing with a happy heart. Are you ready kids? Come on, let's all stand and prepare ourselves to worship the Lord. And let us do the sign of love and name of the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Amen. giving us this opportunity to be with our family in this monthly assembly. We are very excited to learn and to know more about your love for us. 
Thank you so much for all the blessings that you have given to us. More especially, thank you for keeping us safe in these trying times. Help us, Father God, to listen carefully so we may understand the values that we are about to learn today. Please also bless our internet connection as we have our monthly assembly. Father, we would also like to ask for forgiveness for the times that we have disobeyed our parents. And lastly, we pray for you to always be with us in everything that we do. This we ask in your most holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow! That was an amazing kids' phrase, right families? So now, I have one question for all of you. Do you still remember the topic of last month's KFC Monthly Assembly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! Families! Very good! That's right! That's the topic last month. So now, let's do a quick recap. Last month, we learned to be faithful in God's promises just like Mama Mary. We also did two activities called Finding Mary and I Am Faithful where we try to find the right path towards Mama Mary and arrange those jumbled letters to form the word faithful. We also introduced our featured saint named Saint Lucy of Syracuse. So families, let us all together recite last month's proclamation statement which is I am faithful in God's promises. Now, our proclamation statement for this month's assembly is, I will obey Jesus with a happy heart. This month, we will learn to be obedient in our parents, big brothers and big sisters with a happy heart just like Jesus. So once more, let us say the proclamation statement. I will obey Jesus with a happy heart. Say it with me. I will obey Jesus with a happy heart. So families, I invite you to stand up and listen to our gospel reading for this month. The gospel reading according to John. The next day, John was standing there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus walking by, there is the Lamb of God, he said. The two disciples heard him saying this and went with Jesus. Jesus turned, saw them following him and asked, What are you looking for? They answered, Where do you live? Rabbi, come and see, he answered. So they went with him and saw where he lived and spent the rest of that day with him. One of them was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. At once, he found his brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah. Then, took, then he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, Your name is Simon, son of John, but you will be called Cephas. The word of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello there, families. I am your big sister, CJ. And for us to better understand the gospel for today, let me tell you a story. But before that, let me first explain to you three terms. First, do you know what a disciple is? A disciple is someone who follows and helps spread the teachings of another and our gospel for today talks about the first disciples of Jesus is this is from the book of John chapter 1 verses 35 to 42 and these disciples called Jesus as their rabbi and as their messiah so what is a rabbi at the CJ a rabbi is a teacher how about the Messiah? The Messiah is what we call someone who was chosen to save the people. Now, are you ready to hear the story? Can I see a thumbs up? Alright, let's proceed. In our gospel today, Jesus 
was inviting his first disciples to follow him and help him in his mission. The story began with John the Baptist together with Andrew and John. While they were talking, Jesus passed by, and John the Baptist saw him, and he said, Behold the Lamb of God! So Andrew and John heard what John the Baptist said, so they decided to follow Jesus. And they were walking and walking and walking, following Jesus, until Jesus noticed that Andrew and John were following him, so he asked what did they want. Andrew and John answered, Rabbi, where are you staying? Remember what a rabbi is? That's right, Andrew and John just called Jesus their teacher. So Jesus answered, Come and you will see. So they continued following Jesus. They walked with Jesus. That was 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they ended up staying with Jesus for the whole day. Early the next day, Andrew was hurrying back to his home in order to see his brother, Simon Peter. And when he saw Simon Peter, he said, We have found the Messiah! They were very happy, and Andrew, together with his brother, went to Jesus. Andrew introduced Simon Peter to Jesus, and when Jesus saw Simon Peter, he said, you are Peter, son of John, and you will be called Cephas. Jesus changed the name or gave Peter a new name to prepare him for his future mission. Do you remember? Yes, Peter became the leader of the disciples. And when Jesus died, he became our first Pope. That's it for story for today. I hope you were able to learn who the first disciples of Jesus are. And right now, you are all ready to proceed with our activity. Hi kids! I'm your big sister, Shen. And for today, we will make an activity called, I Will Follow. So let's get ready with your materials, okay? Alright! So first off, we need cut-out shapes. So you can ask your parents or your guardians to cut out shapes for you. All right, first, we need a yellow circle, a red triangle, two orange squares, a blue square, a purple rectangle, a brown square, and a green triangle. You will also need a bond paper, and glue to paste your cutout shapes later. So in this activity, you will not see Big Sister Shen's work, but instead, you will just listen to my instructions. So this activity is a listening activity. So we will test your listening skills, kids. Alright, so let's go on to the instructions. So first, we will make a house. So get your blue square and paste it at the bottom left corner of your bond paper. Next, get your red triangle and paste it above the blue square. Afterwards, get the purple rectangle and paste it at the bottom middle of your blue square. And then, Get your two orange squares and paste it above the purple rectangle. So you should have a house. So after making our house, we will now make a tree. So get ready with your brown square and your green triangle. So first, get your brown square and paste it right beside the house. So, it should be level with the purple rectangle, okay? This will be the trunk of our tree, okay? And then, after you paste that, get the green triangle and paste it above the brown square. So, that will be the leaves of our tree, 
Alright? So, lastly, get the yellow circle and place it above our tree. So, that will be our sun. So, you should have a house, a tree, and a sun. So, are you finished with your activity, kids? So, let me see your work. Do we have the similar image? Do you have your house? Do you have your tree? And do you have your sun? Alright! Good job, kids! So, thank you for joining me in this activity. I hope that you've enjoyed it and enhanced your listening skills. So, that's it for me. Thank you and bye, kids! Hello families, I am your big sister Chacha and today I have two questions for you. First, did you enjoy the activity? Okay. Second, was it hard following instructions? I see. Earlier, we needed to listen carefully in order to finish the activity. Listening is the first way to show that we are willing to be obedient. When we listen, we will be guided and we will know how to do any instructions given to us. We can show obedience to our parents and elders by listening to them and by following what they say. When our parents call our name, we must answer them quickly and do what they ask us to do. For example, cleaning up our toys, placing our dirty clothes in the laundry basket, finishing our food, or eating vegetables. So, let me ask you another question. Did you feel happy when you finished the activity? Wow, that's great! It is also important to do our tasks with joy because it makes our tasks easier and fun. Remember that God gave us our parents and elders. When we listen and obey them, we also obey and show our love for Jesus. And we can say, I obey Jesus with a happy heart. Can we say it together? I obey Jesus with a happy heart. Thank you! God bless! Bye! Hello families! I am your big sister Angel and today I want you to meet my friend named Saint Bathildis. Can you repeat her name again? That's great! Now let me show you her story. Saint Bathildis is a scared Christian English girl who was locked up on a pirate ship and was sold as a slave. Each day she went from one task to another doing the very best that she could. Soon, King Clovis II noticed her and fell in love with her. The king married her and the slave to woman had become the queen. When King Clovis II died, Mathildis became ruler of France until her three sons grew up. She was filled with love for Jesus and his church. As a queen, she helped and protected the church in every way that she could. She put up hospitals in France. She started a seminary to train priests and convent nuns. When her son Clotaire was 15, Queen Bathildis handed the throne over to him and entered the convent of Chelles. As a nun, she set aside her royal dignity and became humble and obedient. She never demanded or even expected other people to treat her like a royalty. She was very kind and gentle with the sick. Sadly, she suffered a long painful illness before she died on January 30, 680. And that's it! I hope St. Bathilde's story inspired you to become humble and obedient. Thanks for listening. Bye, families! Hello, families! Do you know St. Bathilde's is like a hero of the Catholic Church? Yes, and we too could be like her and be a hero. So, do you want to be a hero just like St. Bathilde's? Okay! So now, let us go to our Kimsey Heroes Challenge time! Okay, so as a hero, we must be ready in every situation whenever we are needed. So this month's Kimsey Heroes Challenge is all about taking care of the environment. 
So, are you ready, families? Okay. So, question. What are the three categories that we should follow in segregating our garbages or wastes? Go! Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. Mm -hmm, that's two. Okay, okay. Last one, last one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right, families. Good job. Very good. So, the three categories that we should follow in segregating our waste or garbages is one, biodegradable, two, non-biodegradable, and three, uh, recyclable. So, as KFC heroes, we should learn to obey Jesus with a happy heart and learn to take care of our environment. So once again, families, congratulations! And I hope to see that we could follow and learn new things on how we could take care of our environment. So that's it for our KFC Heroes Challenge Time. I'm a hero, KFC hero. We are all heroes, KFC heroes. I am a hero, KFC hero. We are all heroes, KFC heroes. I am a hero, KFC hero. We are all heroes, KFC heroes. I am a hero, KFC hero. Hello, families. Hello, kids. Today, we will do our take home activity. And if you have a printer at home, you can print this. But if you don't have a printer, you can follow what I will do. Okay? Very good. Alright, let's go! We need one paper. Any paper will be fine. Pencil or ball pen, crayons, and scissors. First step, we will fold the paper into half. Like this. Then, ask help from our parents to cut the paper into two, following the line created when we folded the paper. We now have two papers. After that, we will write obedience card at the top of our each paper. And then, we will write dad on the left side and mom on the right side of the paper. Below the words mom and dad, we will draw six smiley faces each. If you have an older brother or older sister, get the other piece of paper that we cut. And then, right big brother on the left and the big sister on the right side. Just like what we did earlier, we will draw six smile faces below the words big brother and big sister. We will use this obedience card every time we obey and listen to our parents. One task is equal to one smiley face which will be colored by our parents or our ats and kuyas. To signify our KFC Hero Day, for every task that you do, which is related to taking care of the environment such as watering the plants and turning off the electronic device when not in use, the smiley face will be colored using green crayons. Always remember to obey and listen to our parents, our ates and kuyas, to fill all of the smiley faces with colors, okay? Hello families! Welcome to this month's Parents Forum. Especially to you, our dear parents. I am Tita Jen. And I am Tita Ron. This month's topic is anchored on John 1 verses 35 to 42. And it is about the first disciples of Jesus. 
we highlighted the value of obedience as what John and Andrew did in the Gospel. The disciples listened to Jesus and acted on His invitation. As parents, we should know that in the context of obedience, two important things matter. Values of discipline and listening. Discipline is a way of parents to love their children. And obedience through listening is the children's response to this love. Parents may set reasonable rules at home for the benefit of their children. This allows their children to build on their personality and character with their parents' guidance, of course. Disciplining children and making them obey may not be always easy. But here are some tips, dear parents, that we could use. One, make instructions clear. Make sure that children clearly hear you. Shouting is discouraged. Instructions must be conveyed always lovingly. For junior kids, it is advisable that you kneel or sit in front of them, eye level being maintained. For senior kids, eye contact is always important. And as parents, we need to ask if instructions are understood and heard clearly. Number two, take note of the surroundings. Always give instructions to our children when they are not distracted. If they are playing, reading, or watching, they tend to seemingly ignore us parents. 3. Test your children's limits. Some kids tend to ignore instructions and develop a habit of ignoring until their parents yell. When parents are in this space already with their children, a loving approach is habitual listening and asking their children to respond. Number four, wait and explain. When the kids heard and understood what was said or instructed to them, it is always good to wait and see what happens. It would be great if, if they listen on the first instance, but if not, explain the reason of the request. Make them understand the need to follow and the consequences it may cost them or others if they obey or not. 5. Give way for learning. It is okay to let children learn from the consequences of disobeying and not listening. It is the role of parents to always guide and explain why should this happen. Number 6 pray together be patient with your children obedience through discipline and listening will always be seen through our persistence and especially prayers pray together as a family as parents pray for our children that they may grow in love in jesus and in you through listening and obeying also, ask your children to pray for you. You may guide that you may guide them more to Jesus always. Again, our six tips for disciplining children and making them obey. One, make instructions clear. Two, make take note of the surroundings. Three, test your children's limits. Four, wait and explain five give way for learning and six pray together we need to remember that as parents we are responsible to our children before god and as we teach obedience to our children we must make them realize that parents were given by god to take his place in their home in this month's assignment, your, your children will receive an obedience card. Dear parents, give your children simple chores that they can easily 
accomplish. And it is always good to prepare a reward for them after they earn all their smileys. Please also take note, dear parents, of this month's uh, pictured saint. She is Saint Mathildis, whose feast day is on January 30. Please take time to discuss her on your monthly prayer, uh, household prayer. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much and see you on, on our, our next KFC, KFC monthly, monthly assembly. assembly. And, and for, for that, that May, May God, God be praised. Praise. Bye. Bye and thank you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, our Father, we praise and glorify you today. We want to say thank you for the gift of life, family, and friends. Thank you also for all the blessings that we receive every day. We are grateful to get to know more of you through this monthly assembly. We are also thankful for the big brothers and sisters and our dear coordinators who share their times and talents with us. Thank you for using them as your instrument of love and grace. Father, forgive us for all our sins that we made. More especially, we would like to apologize for the times we have disobeyed you and our parents. Please protect us from this virus and may you continue to heal those who were affected. Shower us with your unconditional love, mercy, and compassion. Saint Patricius, pray for us to be more humble and obedient. Mother Mary, continue to pray for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.